Welcome to the Mount Man Chronicles. Be comfortable with the uncomfortable. Live, learn. Today we're going to install a cooktop wing cover from Dometic on our Mission Overland trailer. See here it folds out, allows you to have some wind protection. I've used these before. They have a sliding little thing here to help keep them um, pretty steady. They work actually pretty well at keeping the wind out. Those of you who use your Mission Overland trailer in the wind uh, will understand that it's a bear unless you have this cover. I understand the new ones, 2023, actually come with it. Those of us who invested during COVID were kind of left out with this basic part. Uh, I'll list the the part number below for those of you who have older ones that want to install it. It really is an early install. One of the things you'll need to do to be able to install this uh, cooktop uh, cover, wind cover, is one of these little diamond shaped screw bits right here where my fingers are. All right, the first step is to remove the screws. Fortunately, doesn't look like it. One screw. So what we're gonna do is put a cover on this. I put a grill over this because what I don't like about this grill, this part, is uh, it makes it hard to cook on. So I put a grill, I put a, some wire mesh over it, and that seemed to solve the problem. You can see the next two parts here, there's some little doohickeys you got to pull out. I'm a big believer in these little plastic tools. It may or may not work. I'll probably have to go get a little pick. All right, got my handy dandy pick here. Let's see if I can get this sucker off without scratching anything. Looks like it's going. Got one. There's four of them. A two. A three. And here's number four. Wait, four. Right here's one. I'm back. We'll see how that goes. All right, next step is to hold this up. I put my finger on the back to do some backing and then I got a um, Craftsman 9, little tiny, 930 seconds wrench or socket. Put that one on hand tight, get the second bolt, do the same. Afterwards I'll probably Sucker almost got away from me. The idea here is not to put too many things in your hands like I just did. So you're juggling multiple things. And hopefully we'll get the other screw started. Which I just did. Get that one hand tight. Then go to the other side and do the same. You can see right in there, that's where they are. I'm going to tighten them down. Hopefully I'll be able to get them in. As you can see here, it's nice and flush again. So now I am going to attempt to screw it back down and then we'll get the rest of the sit flush. All right, found out that these need to be drilled out a little bit. So that's the next step, is to drill and make sure these are set perfectly. So what I used it was a tiny unit bit, just rounded it out just a little, tiny bit, not a lot. Um, and it seemed to work. You can see the screws off a little bit, but it does straighten out as you put it in. Then you just grab your handy dandy wrench is this it was uh again it's hard to see there but it's a 3 8 inch so pretty standard and pretty straightforward to put in so what i do is then the hardest part is just i have so much stuff in here getting everything to go on i start by hand i found it's easier to do a couple turns get her tight go back with my wrench Make sure the wrench is going the right way. 
and tighten her down. Once she's tight, then we can test fit her. And now you can see that everything fit really nice really well and it was actually a pretty easy job like I said I was able to get it done in half hour 45 minutes pretty straightforward so now I feel we can cook and there'll be no wind yay